Hey everyone, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do something a little bit different, something new for my channel. I'm going to go over my October favorites. So these are going to include body care. Um, I've got like a candle in here too, some books, just different odds and ends things that I've been really loving this month. So if that sounds like something you guys are interested in, let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. So I figure we'll just start off with like the body care that I've been loving this month, specifically these particular scents. So first and foremost is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. I've been using the lotion a little bit, nothing crazy, but I ran through an entire mist this month, or I was like a quarter of the way in and then I finished the rest of it. And I've been using the shower gel too, just the whole set I've been loving for October. It has notes of pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallows, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. And it's just one of the classic Bath & Body Works fall scents. It's possibly my favorite Bath & Body Work classic fall scent. Um, I've been getting it for years. It's one usually each fall I'll go through some form of it, usually a lotion. This year it just happens to be a mist, but total love. It's, I feel like it's always going to be a favorite. Like I love pumpkin pecan waffles and I'm starting to like champagne, apple and honey more and more, but I'm always going to go back to marshmallow pumpkin latte. It's just, it's got a special little place in my heart. So this next one you guys probably saw coming, that is the Find Your Happy Place Lazy Weekends, specifically like the mist, but I have the shower gel as well. I ran through my entire bottle, like it's completely empty, little spoiler alert there, but it's so good. It's such a like cozy fall scent. It has notes of toasted marshmallow, caramel drizzle, vanilla bean, and almond blossom. And it's just the perfect marshmallowy with a bit of nuttiness but it's not like so sickly sweet like i could spray half the bottle and still probably be fine it's just so good and i don't know if i've mentioned it before or not but like the pump on these is phenomenal possibly my favorite kind of pump because sometimes like the bath and body works will like spurt occasionally the victoria's secret the victoria's secret pink is a hot mess but even like body fantasies, body ecology, the nozzles aren't the best. They're okay, they get the job done, but this is like a level above. It's just, it's so smooth. I do this because you know, you guys don't know what spraying looks like apparently, but it's just so smooth and it like springs back up. It's just, I don't know, <laughs> clearly super big fan. I even love the packaging, but overall beautiful scent is something I, have obviously been obsessed with this fall, but like this October in particular, I've been using it like crazy. So I also had a scrub that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, you guys know that the Tree Hut fall collection that launched, I love the iced coffee. I love the apple macchiato, like that's no big surprise. You guys, if you saw that video, you know, I love those scents. But this one, I kind of didn't give enough love to in the beginning. Like I purchased it, I was like, okay, this smells good, you know, I'll use it, whatever. And I threw it right in my fall project so I could get on using it. That is the Onyx Bathhouse Creep On Creep In Pumpkin Spice Latte Body Scrub, which the name is aggressive. My goodness, the amount of times I've like tried to say it and just couldn't, but this is such a good scent. Like I've had pumpkin-y scrubs in the past. This is just so potent in the best way possible and like you get the latte edge like I love pairing this with like vanilla mocha martini or marshmallow pumpkin latte like it works in both veins you get enough pumpkin for it to be a fall scent and you get enough coffee for it to be like a coffee scent so good like my tub is almost gone <laughs> by the time this month is over it's probably gonna be my empties I love it so much this is one like, I will get it again next year. I've been at TJ Maxx, I was actually just there today. They don't have any more, so I can't get another one this year, but that's fine, because it would literally just be sitting around for a year. But such 
a good scent. Oh my goodness. Like I've been loving this and I love the Onyx bathhouse formula. Like I don't give them enough credit in general because I feel like Tree Hut launches like the big collections with the super fun scents and Marshmallow Lodge and Candy Cane and Iced Coffee and Apple Macchiato, like these really decadent, fantastic sounding scents. And then Onyx Bathhouse is just like in the background with Pumpkin Spice Latte and whatever that like cranberry one that they did, I think they had an apple one. Like they just kind of chill, like they're in their own lane. They let Tree Hut like forge ahead with whatever Tree Hut's doing but like they need more credit. This stuff is phenomenal. I love the formula. I like the like foaming aspect to it. I don't know, it's just kind of fun, but the texture, it's also, it's so interesting because like I scoop it out of the tub and I could like mold it like Play-Doh almost. It's such a strange like blob, but you add a little water, you kind of work it into a bit of a lather and then when you scrub it on, it's just, such an experience. I just, I love this. If you guys want to see like a scrub video comparing different formulas, Onyx, Dove, Tree Hut, any other scrubs I've tried, let me know down below because clearly <laughs> I knew I had thoughts on this. I didn't realize I had so many thoughts on this. So if you guys want to hear more, let me know because that would be really fun to film. So I also have a couple perfumes to share with you guys. This first one is Chai Eclair, I believe is how it's pronounced from Le Monde Gourmand. This one, I don't have notes to share with you guys, unfortunately. It's one of those, I got it at TJ Maxx for like 13 bucks. So worth it. If you guys ever find it at TJ Maxx, like snag it, it's so good. But it's got almost like a nutty almondy-ness to it, but it's still like a creamy vanilla. Just so good. It's in a similar vein to um, like Silver Moon from Pacifica, but not as like spiced as that one is because that's like vanilla, almond, and spice. It's like take out the spice from that and add a little something extra. This is such a beautiful fall scent. Like I said, it's got, I think it's the warmth from the like nutty almond note that really makes this like a fall scent for me. Regardless, this is phenomenal. If you guys ever find it, snag it if you can. So, so good. Just something I've been going crazy for this month. The other perfume that I've been like loving this month and really just fall in general, but like this month in particular is Vanilla Bourbon from Mix Bar. Like, do you guys see the dent I've made in that? Like, I am doing some damage, but it's so good. It's like a vanilla, but it's got almost like a smoky deeper edge from the like bourbon. I've been loving this. I'm wearing it today with Bath and Body Works. Is it Cozy Vanilla Bourbon? I always forget the name of that one. I think it's Cozy Vanilla Bourbon, but I'm wearing those two today. They smell so good together. Like, oh my gosh, <laughs> such an amazing scent. This is one like I could see myself finishing the bottle and I could see myself wanting another bottle when it's gone. And it's fairly affordable. Like you can get it at Target for like 20 bucks. So totally worth it in my opinion, like for how much I've been loving this. Highly, highly, highly recommend. If you guys have like similar scent preferences to me, you're gonna love it. So moving away from like body care and fragrance, moving on to candles, I do have a couple to share with you guys. So the first one, I don't have like the candle physically with me anymore. So I'll pop up a picture on the screen but it is the Glade Apple of My Pie candle. Oh my goodness, it's so good. It's just like the perfect apple cinnamon, almost like apple cidery kind of candle. Um, we bought four of them this year and we've already burned up all four of them. Like my husband and I just absolutely love the scent. And it's, again, it's pretty affordable. I think it ranges from like five to $6, depending on where you purchase it. And it's, I mean, it's Glade, you can find Glade anywhere, but it's a seasonal scent though. So it's not something you can find all year round, but perfect for the fall time. And I mean, obviously we've been loving it. So the other candle that I wanted to recommend to you guys is from Yankee Candle, and that is the Pumpkin Banana Scone. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is like banana bread, but make it fall. Like you can tell there's a pumpkin essence to it. It's not like, a pumpkin bread with like a touch of banana. It's a banana heavy scent. 
but it's so cozy and warm and inviting and like I love it. I don't know if I already said it or not, but we've run through an entire one of these this year already. I think I bought these like two or three weeks ago. So the fact that we've already run through one is like wild. But I was able to get it on clearance for five bucks. So I don't know if like stores have sold out of them yet, if I'm too late to the game to letting you guys know about this or what the deal is, but super, super good scent. Highly, highly recommend if you have like similar scent preferences to me, this is one you're gonna wanna give a go. So last but not least, I wanted to share a few books with you guys. Um, these are books I read this month that just like I could not put down, they were so good. So first and foremost is The Mystery of Mrs. Christie by Marie Benedict. This tells the story of like Agatha Christie went missing. They think her husband did it, like what led up to it? Where has she gone? What happened to her? It's just so interesting. It like dives back into her life before her marriage, before she disappears, before like all that. And it also simultaneously catalogs like when she's missing, what the police are doing, what's going on with her husband, her daughter. Like it's just, it was so fascinating. And it's also a fairly slim book, so a fairly quick read. But I just, I was just so interested. I don't know how much like reality there is to it. I don't know the full like backstory, but such a good book. Highly recommend if you can find it. Like I said, I just like <laughs> randomly found it at Goodwill one day, but highly, highly recommend. It was really good. This next one I mentioned in my fall night routine, so I won't go too in depth, but that is The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. And it's just, oh, it was so good. I read this so fast. Like there were nights where I would stay up until like, so I'm, I go to bed really, really early. I would stay up until like 10.30 just reading because I didn't want to put it down, but so good. I've already kind of explained the premise, but basically it's like a murder mystery, but the protagonist like switches bodies every day. So he learns like different pieces of the puzzle and it all takes place over like one day. Like it'll restart the day in a new body kind of thing. I'm <laughs> explaining it so poorly, but it was so good. Just like trying to uncover the mystery while he is getting his like different pieces of the puzzle and it like I wasn't ready for what was gonna happen at the end it totally threw me off like <laughs> I had no idea what was gonna happen so good again highly recommend I don't see this one talked about a lot I haven't seen like anyone talking about this it's so unbelievably good like more people need to experience this and so the last book I have to share with you guys is the Amityville Horror and this one, I've never seen any of like the Amityville horror movies. I've seen like, I guess clips and pieces, but I've never sat down and watched one. I just knew it was like a haunted house, ghosts, paranormal, maybe like a demon or two, you know, one of those stories. And this was one my husband picked up. He was going to read it and then I stole it from him and I read it. And I read it in a day. I mean, that's not hard. It's like 150, 200 pages, but it was just so interesting and it like goes into like a little bit of like the history of the house but also like the first-hand experiences of the family it's written in like a fiction like a fictional novel sort of way like you're reading it as if like you're just reading a run-of-the-mill scary story but there's like the true story factor to it but it doesn't read like non-fiction like i don't know the best way to describe it it was because nonfiction can kind of like bore me sometimes, but it was like, I was in the house, I was experiencing whatever happened to the family, but then I was also seeing things from like the other characters' point of views. It was really interesting, really good book. Again, one that we just kind of found at Goodwill, so don't discount Goodwill, they've got some really good stuff there, but perfect for this time of year too. Like this is like the epitome of a spooky season book. And again, it's one that I would definitely crank out again next year. So good. Recommend if you're into like this type of, like a, a realistic, demonic, paranormal kind of story. All right, you guys, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
leave me a like and a comment below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!